Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to get the Smooth Operator achievement. And that achievement is harvest 100,000 Vespine gas for your ally with Rory Swan's Vespine Harvester in co-op missions. Now, there's definitely many different ways to get this achievement, but I'm going to be showing you guys what I think is the fastest way to get this achievement. And this is not my idea. Once again, someone in the comments posted this idea to me, so I can't take credit for it. But it was a great idea and if that person happens to see this video please let me know who you are and i'll give you some credit in the description of this video all right now this is a very cheesy way to get this achievement but you know it's not cheating it's just using to your advantage uh, one of the maps what the map gives you now i bet a lot of you already know about this but for those of you who don't which i did not even think of doing this uh, you're going to want to play on void launch and then to make things really easy, you're going to want to go on casual. Now, if you guys are really good, I mean, I'm just going on casual just to show you guys, you know, this is how you do it. It's really easy this way, but some of you may want to get experience while you're playing, so you can go ahead and go on brutal difficulty or hard difficulty. But if you go on casual mode, you're going to be able to destroy the enemy's bases much quicker. And then the faster you get those bases destroyed, the faster you can get up Vespin Geysers on their expansions or in their uh, supply lines basically and once that's set up you just have to defend those Vespine geysers and get drones on everything so that's that's the key to getting this achievement really fast and we're gonna go ahead and just jump straight into this now I think there's a couple there might be a couple other co-op missions that you can do this on uh, maybe lock and load perhaps I'm not exactly sure but I do know for sure that you can do it on this on void launch very easily especially on casual difficulty now this is going to be a really easy carry for this uh, Mugen guy <laughs> but what the heck I'm going to show you guys what we're doing here okay so uh, initially what we are going to do is we're just going to I think we're just going to go straight for Goliath we're going to mass a bunch of Goliaths, and we're going to stomp the enemy's base. We could go Thors, but Thors are a little bit slower, and I think I'm going to upgrade defenses, defensive turrets from the engineering bay. So we can have our turrets, uh, flaming Bettys, and uh, blaster billies to be really strong, and we can just plant a bunch of those around the Vespine, or the refineries we're going to put on the Vespine geysers in the enemy's base. And since uh, we're at such a high mastery level, the drones that we're actually going to put on the extractors are going to be extremely cheap. I think they only cost like 10 minerals now or 7 minerals, something, something very minimal because their uh, price has been reduced uh, with the mastery skill points that I have used. I'll actually check that out here right now. Yeah, they currently cost me, okay, 16 minerals. It's been reduced by 84 from the original 100 minerals. Greetings, so that's so extremely cheap. You don't even notice it when it's gone. As a staging ground for his troop okay, so I'm going to throw down a supply depot. The warp conduits he uses cannot be attacked, so you will need to destroy the shuttles themselves before they can warp and away. And then we're just going to wait until we get about 150 minerals, and then I'm going to throw down a factory right away. For those of you who don't know, you don't actually need the supply depot built in order to build a factory. When you're playing a swan, that is. In multiplayer mode, of course, you do need a supply depot first, and a barracks. And gas. You don't even need to use gas when you're building a factory of swan. Alright, now we're going to throw down the first refinery. And we're going to keep on creating a bunch of SCVs. And then as soon as my teammate gets up some extractors, we'll throw some some of these uh, Vespine... Oh, that's what they're called. Vespine Harvesters. We want to throw Vespine Harvesters on everything as soon as possible. So I'm just going to invest in them a little bit sooner. Because this is going to be the typical strategy that you're going to want to do. You're going to want to get your gas ASAP. So as soon as possible. Alright, I'm going to throw down another supply depot. And then I'm gonna get out. Uh, I'm gonna get out a Goliath as soon as we have enough gas for one. And I'm gonna fill up uh, the three three workers on this first refinery here. 
All right, throw down another refinery. And then I'm going to take my SCV down here, and we're going to place a blaster billy at the expansion to take out the rocks. All right, so far we're doing quite good. Okay, we'll throw down a blaster billy right here. Let me just make sure there's rocks. Oh, they're both on this side. All right, so since both of the rocks are on this side, I can just throw down one blaster billy right here, and this will take out the rocks right here, here, and here. And I'll just chain the command so I don't even have to look at what's going on. Okay, and then we want to throw down the Vespine, Vespine harvesters on both of the uh, extractors that my teammate has. And then hopefully he'll get these rocks destroyed pretty quick here. If he doesn't, I can probably go over there and help. Alright, and I'm just going to hold down shift with the attack command selected. And then select all these rocks. So this blaster ability will take out all these rocks without me having to watch it. Okay, and then I'm going to get the tech reactor. And just create a bunch of goliaths. And I am going to throw down my first armory because I want my goliaths to be extra powerful. And I'm going to throw down an engineering bay because we are going to want all sorts of turrets. I think they're called spinning dizzies are the other turret. Yeah, yeah, flaming bettys, spinning dizzies, and blaster billies. And the spinning dizzies are basically your anti-air turrets. All right, we have the first rock destroyed at our expansion for the Vespine. And this isn't the typical strategy I'm going to be using, throwing down Vespine or uh, refineries on the extractors typically with Swan. But because we want the achievement, we're throwing down the refineries right away because you want to get as much gas as you can. You really want to milk this mission. <laughs> you want to get as much out of it as you can to get the achievement faster, which will in turn reduce how much uh, time it actually takes you to get the achievement. All right, and we want to keep on making a bunch of SCVs. I do want to save up to get a uh, command center down here though as well. And we're going to throw down another Vespine Harvester. And one more. There we go. Okay. And then I'm going to save up till we have 400 minerals. And I will build a second command center here. Okay. There we go. So far, so good. And this first wave is going to be a complete cakewalk. We really don't need to worry about this. I'll probably throw... Yeah. Two SC Ah, uh, he has Kerrigan. I'm not even going to pull my SCVs. Yeah, Kerrigan will be able to take this out no problem. And we have these combat drones. And we're playing on casuals, so I shouldn't even be worrying about anything. Nothing compared to Brutal Difficulty. Okay. Alright, hopefully he takes these Vespin Geysers very soon here. We really do want our teammate to build those so we can get more Vespine gas. Alright, and then I'm going to start getting uh, ship weapons level 1 from the armory. And I'm going to put down another armory so we can get two upgrades at the same time. And I think I'm going to upgrade armor of all structures. Okay, so far so good. We've located your main objective. I'm going to build you some more Goliaths. I have a ton of gas right now. But not enough minerals because I don't have my command center up net. Uh, second command center, that is. Oh, and I'm supply blocked. Wow, I am definitely playing like a player on casual. Shoot. Alright, I'm going to pull a couple SCVs. Uh, for those of you who don't know, you can actually use multiple SCVs on a single structure to speed up the building process. And then I'm going to chain, chain these guys. Hopefully they work together. Yeah, there we go. Okay, and then we're going to just keep on popping down a bunch more of those. I should be getting lots more units out here, but I messed that up a little bit. Okay, and we want a ton of SCVs. Okay, I'm not even going to worry about the gas here because we are loaded. Okay, and then I'm going to send my Goliaths out over here. Basically what you want to do is mass up a very big army and then just clear out the enemy's base. You don't want to try and move out with a small army because, you know, it's you're going to clear out the base really slow. And it'll just work better if you save up just for a little bit and time your attack just right. That way you can uh, you know, get more gas. You'll just you'll just it'll just be better if you save up for it. Saving up will be worth it. 
save up for a nice big army, and then completely decimate your enemy's base. <laughs> Walk straight over them. And then you can just put down refineries wherever you want. Okay. So I am going to clear out the bonus objective area. I mean, I still do want experience, even though this is only on casual difficulty and it's not going to be much. And since... I have a bunch of extra minerals, I'm going to throw down a bunch of these supply depots. Oh, and now I don't have enough minerals to build Goliaths. Oops. <laughs> okay. Alright, going to throw these SCVs onto this refinery here. Well, shoot. Yeah, I'll keep a couple Another of them off for now. Alright, now I definitely have enough supply for a little while, so I'm going to just leave one SCV to do the work of building these supply depots now. And I'm going to start getting as many Goliaths as I can from the current factory that I have. I should be using these areas to actually go into the enemy's base since they're only temporary units. I'm not going to be able to do too much damage with these guys, unfortunately. I should have been uh, on top of my micro a little bit more. Okay, and then I am going to get level 2 weapons, and I need to start getting uh, ship plating level 1. Okay, there we go. Okay, I need to pull back this Goliath. He's in a little bit of trouble. Maybe I can micro, maybe not. I think my units actually do get healed automatically because I... well... Yeah, never mind, they don't. I didn't get that upgrade yet. But they are tough. So that's the main thing. Oh, and another very cool thing I saw just today, I was actually watching another YouTuber, uh, Loco TV. I'm pretty sure all of you guys know about him. But I saw in one of his videos, you can actually shift-click your waypoint command onto multiple units. So what I normally do is I shift-click a waypoint onto a single unit, so all of my... Uh, uh, factories and barracks just go straight That's to the enough. army that I have out in the Scans open. The well, if that unit dies, your unit's not going to continue to them. But what you can do is you can shift click the waypoint on all of your Attack units, incoming. and that way if one of them dies, it's still, it'll just go to the next unit that you have selected with the shift click. So just a little tip that I bet you guys didn't know about. Well, some of you that is. Okay, and I was really bad about this. We just got the Vespian Harvesters down on his extractors, so there we go. Okay, now I'm going to start getting the, let's see here, uh, Ares class targeting system that will increase the Goliath's anti-air weapon range by 3 and its ground weapon by 1. And then I'm going to get the multi-lock weapon systems and then they can target air and ground at the same time, the Goliaths can. Okay, I'm going to throw out another factory. I'm going to throw down two more factories actually. And I'm going to keep on building supply depots with this SCV. I'm going to want to keep up this process. And we're going to spam some more SCVs here. Okay, now my teammate's moving in. We're going to drop our Ares, or combat drop that is. Yeah, they are Ares. I'm going to completely clear this out here. And I am going to start sending some SCVs down there. Because we want to start building some defenses in the enemy's base, and then we want to build these refineries on this uh, this Vespian guys are here, and this Vespian guys are here. I'm not going to worry about the minerals too much, because that'll take up extra supply. I just want a really big army, and we don't need the extra minerals. But we want the Vespian geysers for the achievement. Okay, and it looks like this wave will run straight into us too, so we can clear it out while we're at it. Okay, and I'm going to keep on spamming Goliaths. I'm going to build another tech reactor and another tech reactor. So we'll have three uh, factories with tech reactors right now. And I'm going to start upgrading my laser drill to level 2. Okay, and then I'm going to throw one SCV on that command center there. And then I'm going to start waypointing my SCVs to this refinery. Okay, now I will throw down some refineries on these right here best being geysers that is and I'm going to start going actually we need to defend our base really quick here so I'll send my glass over that way but as soon as this is done I'm going to start throwing down some different turrets 
Okay, I don't foresee this wave being all that terrifying. And whatever it does happen to be, I can just pull my SCVs off and they will auto repair my units that I have sitting right here. Okay, there we go. Yeah, not bad at all. Definitely very weak on casual. Everything, everything is easy on casual. Oh shoot! I, <laughs> I sent my SCVs back by accident. Anyways, we're gonna throw it on the Vespine harvesters on these refineries right now. So so far, we have a total of ten Vespine harvesters going for us, and we we can get two more. So we just have to start clearing out the enemy's base on the other side here. And I'm gonna waypoint all of these refineries to a bunch of different different Goliaths. There we'll go like this. Okay, so you can only select about, I think, five waypoints at a time. Looks like that's the max there. Okay, and I need to start getting some upgrades. I've been very slow about getting the upgrades, but it's okay. Don't have to worry all that much about it. Okay, and I'm going to start building some more supply depots here. Okay. And then as you can see here... Here are the other two Vespine geysers that we're going to take. Not a problem at all. Okay, I'm going to throw this SCV over here and we're going to start building the refinery right away. Okay, and it looks like we're sitting okay still. The enemy wave has not killed us. Okay, throw down some more blaster billy turrets just for some extra protection. I'm going to keep on walking forward with these Goliaths. Okay. I'm going to get the add one range to turrets. That's the high sec auto tracking. We're going to get fire suppression systems. So all structures automatically put out fires and repair themselves to 50% maximum life. And then KMC auto loaders, which increases the tech speed of all turrets by 25%. Alright. Then those uh, turrets that we're going to put up will be very strong. We're going to throw down one more Vespine Harvester, and then we only have one left to put up. We'll have a total of 12 Vespine Harvesters doing work for us. That will be awesome. Okay, I'm going to send these Goliaths over here. See, every, the enemy's just so weak on, on casual mode. It's just so such a quick way to get this achievement. I mean, my, my Goliaths aren't even dying. On Brutal Difficulty... You would probably need to go with Thors and throw in some siege tanks and then get science vessels to repair your units. But the auto repair upgrade that you can get from the armory is enough to keep your Goliaths alive on casual difficulty. I'm not even losing units right now. This is how uh, strong they are. <laughs> okay, and then I'm going to throw down the last Vespine Harvester. Now we still have three waves, three waves left of 12, 12 of these Vespine Harvesters. Am I right? Yeah, 12, 12 Vespine Harvesters gathering Vespine gas for us. So, I wonder... Well, actually, I, I probably can't check it anymore. When I was getting the achievement, you could actually see how much Vespine gas you got by seeing the previous amount you had until you got the achievement, and then how much you have left after... Or, how much you, how much you are at after finishing a co-op mission. Because you could see your total amount before you get to that 100,000. But, since I already finished it, I don't think I'll actually be able to see that. But I think I was averaging about 2,000 a match when I was playing Void Thrashing, and I would only had eight Vespine Harvesters going at that time. So I'm assuming it's going to be... And this is a little bit longer of a mission, too. So you have a little bit more time to actually get, get the Vespine gas. So I'm guessing that it would be quite quite a high amount. I'm not not entirely sure, but maybe around four thousand. It's just a guess. Four thousand, maybe five thousand, even in a single match. I I'd, I'd say that's pretty darn good. Okay, we're going to go ahead and upgrade the Draken laser drill to level three. It really doesn't uh, matter what else we do in this besides create units. We don't even need to get upgrades on casual mode, but. I'm just going to leave my uh, Goliaths out here. I honestly didn't even need to make these turrets because I could just leave my Goliaths over here. But you know what? We'll just throw it down since we have a ton of extra resources. And then it's pretty much just a waiting game from here. 
Okay, we'll just uh, pack up as much as we can. We're going to leave our units at both of these uh, docking bays so we can kill all the units ASAP. There, we'll just hold them there. Okay. A wave of shuttles is making its way to an active And then we're going to go ahead and get the last plating upgrade. And we don't need anything else, I don't think. Yeah, we are sitting perfect. We have 200 supply, and we can just spam units. Our research vessel is ready. We're moving out now. Ha! Oh, research vessel. Yeah, that won't be a problem staying alive. Well, maybe I should send over one Goliath, just in case. Uh, I'll send over a couple. There might still be some units actually camping there. Aha! There is one photon cannon left over here that we must destroy. It's the last enemy unit. Looks like the enemy is heading for us. Let's go save Enemy them. structure, that is. Okay, yep, there were a couple Protoss units sitting over here. We'll kill them off. Okay, that's all done with. And I'm going to leave some Goliaths at this docking bay as well. Okay, and all meanwhile, these refineries are still gathering Vespine gas. All of them. With the Vespine harvesters, that is. So, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I was doing real quick games with Void Thrashing. I was probably completing them in about, you know, 15 to 16 minutes StarCraft time. And we're sitting at 22 minutes StarCraft time right now. So I was only getting 2,000 Vespine gas at 16 minutes StarCraft time with only 8 Vespine geysers. Online. And we have 12, so with one wave left and this bonus objective still going. So I'm, like I said, I'm not entirely sure how much it's going to be, but I'm guessing, I'm guessing it's maybe even around 6,000 or 7,000 Vespine gas. <laughs> Everything's just instantly dead. Very easy this is. Oh, and that was the last wave. We actually oh, killed them off before the bonus objective finished. <laughs> so if you wanted to milk the mission even longer, and I know this is a super cheesy way, once more time, one more time, but if you wanted to milk it even longer, you could just pull back all of your units and just let the shuttles get as close as they could to the portals, or the warp gates, that is, that they're heading towards, and then kill them right before they get to the gates. And that's the way you can make it last a little bit longer. But... Anyways, super easy way to get that achievement, and it'll speed things up a lot. I know it's really tedious and boring, but if you want it, if you really want that achievement, and you don't want to play brutal missions over and over again, just go ahead to casual mode. <laughs> go ahead to casual mode and get the achievement really fast, and just get it over with. All right, that's all I have for you guys in this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this was helpful. And if you have any other questions, let me know in the comments. Also, if you guys know any other missions that you can actually do this on very quickly, let me know too, because I would be interested in making another video or just letting everyone know what the other maps are that they can use. Thanks for watching.